when I was in the seventh grade, I almost got kicked out of school for running a bar in the back of a bus. So we're on our way, seventh grade trip, we're on our way to Epcot, Disney World's Epcot down in Florida. Me and all my friends, we'd all been looking forward to it. We had purchased our tickets earlier in the year, and then on top of that, like everything, you had, then you had to be good enough to go, which I don't know how the fuck I was, had been in some plenty of trouble, so I don't know how I was good enough to go. But I'm getting to go on this trip. Me and my buddies have already started planning what all we're going to bring from the cigarettes to the beer to the liquor and fucking porno tapes. Nobody was smoking weed yet and doing that. I think somebody was trying to bring some Xanax or something. I don't know what we thought we were going to do with that. But um, we were rolling with a full-on fucking liquor store on the way to this trip. And it's a charter bus with 70 students on it. All getting fucking crunk and crazy on the way to go see the mouse and the mustache. So I got. I'm gonna stay in a room with I think three other boys. So two beds, two bed. You know, making a share. We all had core. One guy's gonna bring cigarettes. One guy's gonna bring some beers. One other guy's bringing beers. I said fuck that. I didn't expect them to come through with it. So I. Then stole some of my dad's beers. My grandfather was building a house at the time, so he was living with us. And so he had bought some scotch for him and his little lady he had coming around. At one time, I remember him buying that bottle of scotch. He gave him a little bit of something, something going on. And just fucking scotch, goddamn. But we're seventh grade, so I'm trying to figure out how am I going to get this scotch on this trip. I can't just take the bottle. Um... Shampoo bottles. That's what we came up with. So I washed them out as good as I could. A bunch of perfume bottles that my sister had and shampoo bottles and shit. And you wash it all out, but I can't keep going back to it. I'm seventh grade. I'm fucking stupid. We're stupid. We, I didn't wash it out worth a goddamn. So it still tastes like soap and bubbles and bullshit like that. But we didn't care. We're getting We're getting rolling. What leads me to getting caught in this escapade, though, is that we didn't have any patience to wait to get down to Florida, to get into our hotel rooms, to start having our party. Me being the entrepreneur that I've always been and the wannabe business guy that I was back then, I pulled one of my stashes of liquor out, which happened to be a small Pepsi bottle, a little short, stocky little fuckers, a little pow, pow little pimp daddies, um of scotch out and decided I was going to start bartending in the back of the bus. Um, And I was rolling with it. I had the back of this bus and all these seventh grade kids. How old are you in seventh grade? Maybe 12, 13? Yeah, something like that. It don't matter. These 12 and 13 year old kids were fucking hammered in the back of the bus. Everybody was listening to Beastie Boys and TLC and fucking Eminem. And it was, everybody was dancing. I had it going on. The only thing in hindsight, I didn't know I was charged, wasn't charging enough. I was only charging 50 cents a shot. You understand the deal? 50 cents a shot. And all the kids back there like, hitting it. Mm, that's a good year. That's a good year. These motherfuckers didn't know. <laughs> it was pathetic. It's hilarious, but ugh, God, it's drinking shampoo scotch. Well, anyways, we keep doing our thing. Everybody moving around on the seats, having a good time. They probably had fucking Fifle Goes West on the TV or something. Because we, I mean, everybody was really stoked on being on this charter bus, too, because it was really nice. Nice seats and all these flat screens everywhere. It was pretty cool for us kids to be doing that. So it was just a party in itself. We're rolling down the road and everybody's switching seats. And me and a couple other cats move up a little f- further up. And we're passing around our little Pepsi bottles and Coke bottles that got a little liquor in them. And most of them were mixed up. But I had this one left over that was uh, straight liquor in a Coke bottle. Or no, in the shampoo bottle. That's what it was. It was just... A, Perfume bottle. It was a little when I'm remembering it. It's like some bullshit I took from my sister. And I'm sitting in a seat 
not like you're supposed to sitting directly in it. I'm laid across it, claiming, taking the whole thing almost. And I can see parallel through a crack a teacher who's sitting the same way. My buddy comes up and sits next to me, and I pulled my legs in. And he sits down next to me and says, you got any more of that? I hand him the bottle and don't think twice about it at this point in time. He takes it, he unscrews it, tips it up and looks. And as soon as I'm looking at him in the corner of my eyes, I turn and I see that teacher looking at him, watching him drink this brown liquid out of this spritzer fucking perfume bottle and I looked at him and all I could think to say was that's good coke isn't it and he looked at me huh what the fuck and he seventh grade drinking straight soapy scotch so he just hits it and goes fucking probably about dies trying to take a drink of it he then at that point realizes the teacher sees it as well so he fucking hightails it and jumps up and runs to the back of the bus and goes into the bathroom. The teacher bum rushes me. They start giving me the shakedown. They walk to the back of the bus and reveal that the whole back end of the bus is drunk as hell like a bunch of bums. And everybody's laughing like fucking... It's out of control. So they pull the bus over um, and start interrogating everybody. And these little fucking worms squeal on me quicker than an episode of fucking the next 48 hours or whatever the fuck you call it. They they ran me down. So they got us off the bus. They're pulling everybody's luggage out. All the other kids have done freaked out and scared. And liquor bottles and beer bottles are just rolling free on the floor of the, of this charter bus because everybody's done, uh, fuck that. They're, they know they're searching. So all this shit's rolling around the bus. They pull my luggage off and... They start going through it, and they find more liquor bottles, more to a couple six-packs of booze, and then they find a VCR. Mind you, this is like 95, 96, 7, I don't know. This is the 90s. So there's a VCR, and then, there, and then a bunch of VCR tapes, and I had a bunch of skateboard tapes because me and my boys, we loved skate tapes, and we were all skaters. We also had a couple pornos. We was going to party, damn it. We was going to party, and... They flipped out so bad because of these porno tapes. They thought it was just the worst thing in the world. And at the time, one of the cool, weird things about it, all the teachers, they were all squares and tripping out on it. But our principal at the time, believe it or not, was a hip, hip dude. He owned dance clubs. Rumors was he had owned even some titty bars. Long story short, my dad being an owner of a pawn shop and a crazy guy, he went to bout for me afterwards because they were the school wanted me to take a a they i was in so much trouble over and because i had told them i was selling they were like what are you doing i was like, i was selling it and that's why everybody's drunk and they were uh, that was the wrong answer they were appalled over that and they were like we want him to take a a and my dad was like i don't know if we should put him in a a he wasn't drink he wasn't drunk as hell he was selling it maybe if we put him in some sort of business school accounting bartending classes that would make sense but making him go to a a that doesn't that don't seem right um so i got kicked out of the last week of school because this was at the end of the school year anyway so we didn't have to go through too much on that i think dad had to maybe give away a surround sound system to the principal, some shape, form, or fashion. He did something to get me out of that one. But also, once we we were too far down there, that was the deal. Once we got down there, they pulled. They we were halfway down there when they revealed they caught us. So they pulled me off the bus. They started shaking me down, and they realized we're too far down to wait on somebody to come pick your little ass up and all and the other drunk kids up, and we're too far to turn back. And there's so many of these other kids and so much money invested. So they just had to go on with it and take us, and we still got to go. But they tried to ruin our trip by just being fucking anal the whole time and assholes the whole time. But we were kids. We didn't care. We still had a good time. Um, and the best part about it was one of the teachers who had, was wise enough to pick up some of the liquor bottles and beer bottles that were flying around the bus because they had to get those up at that point. They couldn't pin them on anybody. But the teachers, they said, well, they were going to have them a nightcap. 
they had their room door open when, while all of us kids were at the pool and doing our thing. One of the teachers had her room open, and there's liquor bottles were sitting there. And my boy Brad, he knows who he is. He was in our room, even though they got us and screwed me over and I got in all that trouble. He snuck into her room, snagged one of those bottles, and we still had a good time. That was a good time right there. Uh, I think one of us ended up puking our brains out that night and feeling bad. Yeah, because DC, uh, he ended up with chafing all around the park and having to walk around with a chafed up ding a ling. And when you're 13 years old and a skateboard junkie and chafed out of your brains having to run around a theme park all day, that ain't too good. So maybe next time we'll. Talk about some crazy skateboard stories with with those cats. Right on. Keep it coming, y'all. We'll get you some more.